do you want to see how i went from this to this if you want to let's get into the video my name is yemi welcome to my channel so i just finished an edit on this picture and all that is grouped and i just want to desaturate some parts to make it a bit artistic i don't know some black and white with some red so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go into my adjustment layer and i'm going to click on the black and white and now there's a pic there's a video that breaks down how to adjust for black and white so that the colors are uh, accu accurately represented in your black and white uh, picture excuse my voice <clears throat> so you have to adjust the sliders to certain percentages so there's a formula for it red is 30 percent uh green is 59 and blue is 11. so now you have to pretty much adjust each of these sliders so that it fits and all the colors are represented accurately and that's what i'm going to try to do although later on i'm going to make my red slightly darker but let's just adjust those figures first uh, i think i made a mistake in these adjustments so the i also i put the correct uh figures in the description box there's a breakdown on affinity revolution i think that's where i learned this method first so you can check it out check out the video and see how is the formula is properly explained so yellow would be red and green so you add those two together to get the figure for yellow and then for cyan you add uh i think yeah you add green and blue and then for magenta you add uh, red and blue so once you do the additions you put all the figures in to those boxes and your colors will be properly adjusted especially if you're trying to create a black and white image I made a mistake with my blue here but i went on to adjust it later to the correct figure to be 70. so just take note of that so as you can see the image now the colors are represented nicely according to their various degrees so here's the proper uh th these are proper numbers but let's you know <laughs> let's this is not where we're going let's get to where we are going okay that's like the final product so after you know adjusting the figures on the black and white i'm going to create a mask by clicking that mask button at the bottom and now i have this white uh mask and i'm going to go ahead and grab my brush now when i grab my brush what i'm going to do is remove pretty much remove the color on the flowers because i want the flowers to remain red so you make sure that the opacity is 100 flow is 100 and you just paint over that area so after painting over the area like you zoom in to see if there are you know small spots that you have forgotten especially the edges of the flowers i went on to like paint those parts i know there's like a straightforward way to do this by maybe uh, selecting objects and doing masks but i don't know i feel more artistic when i'm painting so i prefer painting it i don't know <laughs> i mean it's up to you so now that i've done that i'm going to go ahead and make my black a bit darker just because i want the i want the subject to be much darker so i moved the slider further to, towards the left and now that's what i have next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to crop my image to the size that i want which is this and then i'm going to go ahead and create a curves adjustment layer i want to just make the highlights more visible basically accentuate the highlights in the picture so i'm increasing that but i'm going to now paint by creating a mask as usual and inverting so create the mask it's white now and then country i to invert and now it's black i'm going to grab my white brush make sure that white is like the foreground because that's what you paint with i'm going to paint on all the highlights in the picture so use the settings that i have above setting around two or three percent is fine for your flow and i'm just going to paint everywhere the light falls on basically so the highlights of the picture the eyes 
the forehead, the cheeks, the jaw, the neck, basically just everywhere the light is falling naturally make them a bit brighter than they were originally in the picture. Once that is done, you can look at before and after to see. And you can always increase that as well. Maybe increase your flow to make it even more, um, will I say pronounced or more visible. So you can always do that if you want to. But I think usually 2 3% is fine for me. Sometimes I use 5. It really depends on the picture and what I'm trying to create too. I think I felt like it was too much. So I reduced the opacity a bit. Because I think I had done a little too much. And that's the thing. I mean, if you end up going like overboard, you can always reduce the opacity to a level that you're comfortable with. And that's like before and after. That's pretty much it for this video. If you liked, if you enjoyed it or you learned something, please click on like button. And you can check out my other videos. See you next time. Enjoy the rest of your time on YouTube. Bye.